Hey guys, it's Jessica. If you don't already know me, and if you do, welcome back to my channel. Happy to have you. Um, so I'm in LA with Azaro right now, getting ready for their uh, fragrance launch tonight. Just finished my skincare, and there's actually one more step, but I was reading the uh, directions on the back, and it says, do not rub in, apply makeup immediately. So I didn't want to put it on and then start the video, and then I don't, I don't know. So I, know I wanted to do this right. So this is called a beauty flash bomb. So I'm just going to not rub it in and just like pat it in, I guess. I have these marks on the side of my face. Maybe you can see them. And follow me on Instagram stories. Then you would have seen me talk. Oops, sorry. You would have seen me talk about how I got them and it was the weirdest thing. I was basically tanning, um, fake tanning with, um, I use St. Tropez a lot. And so I was fake tanning and I put it on my body, it was fine. And then I put it on my face and my face looked totally normal. And then I like wiped it across my face and then I had like all of these um, dark spots show up out of nowhere. Like a bunch, just like a constellation of marks on my face and I it was so weird because that has never happened to me before with self tanner like it's always gone on so smooth I have oily skin so I don't have problems with dry patches or anything and when I tried to wipe it off they weren't coming off and I tried an exfoliant I tried a cleanser I even tried bioderma which is like my everything when it comes to removing makeup I so I actually had to end up taking my face cloth and like lightly scrubbing it to remove it which faded it a little bit but then left me with these like really weird burns so i don't know if they were like reacting to something else i had put on my face but i had a clean face so i really have no answer but anyway so i'm dealing with this that happened literally the day before i left on this trip which is <laughs> <laughs> Worst case scenario, this is actually my first brand trip where a brand has flown me out for the purpose of an event. And of course I wanted everything to go perfectly and then I get literally like face burns <laughs> the day before I'm set to fly out. So that's what I'm dealing with right now. I've been doing just like a ton of back-to-back -back masks. I've got summer Fridays I've been layering on. I have some Garnier Moisture Balm sheet masks. And then I also have just like my regular um, daily moisturizer. So I'm trying not to put too much makeup, but tonight is different because it is event night. And so I'm gonna have to wear some foundation. So the primer that I'm using tonight is Lancome's Prep and Matte. So this is really great if you have oily skin, take it from me. I put on way too much. Normally you only need just a little bit, but I'm not paying attention. So this stuff works wonders. I've tried other brands and this one is specific for oily skin. So like keeping you matte and it literally lasts me all day. And it's great. Like no oil at all. Such a quick trip. I flew in yesterday and then hung out at the hotel by the pool. I went to the gym. I'm trying to get back on that workout routine. I fell off for a few weeks. And then I'm gonna be using the Lancome Tant Idole Ultra Wear Foundation. This has an SPF of 15 in it, which is amazing. And I'm gonna be using the shade 330 Bisque in neutral. And I've got a brush that I literally just paint my face with it. We're going in thick tonight. And um, look how it just covers. These spots aren't totally covered, so I'm gonna be using the Annabelle Perfect Concealer just to like layer it on. Ugh. I'm really sorry to have to do this to my skin. I mean, I can always face tune it out. <laughs> like honestly, I don't think there's a lot that's gonna cover these because they're like in the middle of healing, but I'm still gonna try. It's like I know it's bad for my skin, but I'm still gonna try and make them as little, uh, as least noticeable as possible. Okay, I think this is the best it's gonna be. It just kind of looks like pimples, so. So I'm wearing some bronzer tonight and I'm using the Clarence Bronzing Compact. It's the Sculpting Bronzing Powder. Get 
that nice brandy look for LA like I've been in the sun all day even though it was overcast earlier today the Azara team is so sweet we um they got us a driver um, so we could see LA and he took us on a tour of like Beverly Hills, Rodeo Drive, uh, Bel Air and then through to Santa Monica and he recommended a restaurant that we ate at called Lobster that was really good not what we were expecting so he was like oh it's touristy so it might be di like a different experience and we were expecting something kind of like cheap and cheerful because it was called lobster but it was actually a really nice restaurant um just outside of the santa monica pier and i had the lobster salad it was really good for contour and blush and highlight i'm going to be using the ro don't clock me for saying this wrong is it rodile rodial i think it's rodile so we're gonna go with that and then i actually mix like these three dark shades at the end here my palette yikes um we weren't expecting to put her on camera. Okay. But yeah, so we went on a tour all the way around those areas. And then where else did we go? Oh, I think there was another area. Cause um, we had this great driver named Chris and he was telling us all the stories about like the Playboy Mansion and Tom Cruise apparently owns like a whole block. He just like bought up the houses in an entire block. We went by Michael Jackson's house and Steven Spielberg's house and the Presley house because they are all neighbors. So that was kind of cool to see. I mean, you don't really see anything from me. Like, I don't really, it's not like a huge deal to go and see. Like, we, we drove by where like Marilyn Monroe used to live and it's not so much about seeing the places, but I love hearing the stories. Like, I could have just laid in the car, not seen anything and just listened to Chris talk and that would have been enough. He drove us to Venice and it was really overcast and cloudy. And Muscle Beach is under renovations right now. He really wanted to show us Muscle Beach. And then we went to Santa Monica Pier and <laughs> we didn't even do anything there. We just literally walked down to the end and uh, walked back. And then we came back to the hotel and I got a coffee because there's a Starbucks right across the street, which has been amazing. Like I would have preferred to have like a local LA coffee place and not like a chain, but there's literally nothing near me. So I had no choice, you guys. I had no choice but to get Starbucks. So for my baking, I'm using this Lancome translucent setting powder. I pop it into the lid and then I have this teeny tiny beauty blender that I dab in and we're gonna bake the nose under the eye because I'm wearing mascara tonight and we wanna be looking snatched. What's interesting about LA is that I'm putting a lot more effort into my makeup than I usually do, but everyone dresses fairly casual. We went out to dinner last night at this place called Delilah, and um, the girls were telling me that like Drake had his birthday party there, Kendall Jenner goes to dinner there, like all this stuff about like these celebrities that eat there, and you're like, okay, cool, let me get some outfit inspo, and you're <laughs> Googling it, and there's like, they're wearing latex mini dresses and like sequin dresses and I'm checking the location tag because I'm like, okay, what's the approximate <laughs> um, dress code for, for this place? And everyone's like kitted out and I'm thinking like, okay, so I gotta show up tonight. And then you get there and there's people like eating in jeans and baseball caps and like hardly anyone was dressed up, like a couple people in dresses, but nothing too crazy. So it's kind of like, it's kind of interesting because there's like the Instagram version of LA and then the real life version of LA is very much, reminds me of Vancouver, the way that people tend to dress like pretty casual. If you're ever in LA, don't worry about being like too overdressed or anything because I feel like no one's really overdressed unless they're doing it for the gram. I like the opportunity to play with my makeup and like do the most when I can. Cause I can't really get away with doing this in Vancouver as much, like theoretically, you totally could. It's different when you're away from home. You feel like you can, I don't know, do more. I might have fucked it up. I don't do cut creases very often. I literally watched a super short video of Desi Perkins doing one. And then I was like, I could do it. And here we are. Oh wait, no, let me do my eyeliner. Okay. This is where I'm gonna have to get really close to my mirror <laughs> and focus. All right, you guys, you know the struggle. Let me like turn you. 
here we go. We can do this. We can do this together. So I like bringing this palette along with me because it has a lot of different purposes. So I'm just gonna take some of the gold and like dab it into that like cut crease or whatever I just did. Guys, I'm not a makeup guru. But I'm gonna say like, yep, yeah, it's a cut crease. And then I'm just gonna like dab some gold on top of it because I know what I'm doing. There, okay. All right, now that we can do this liquid eyeliner thing, I'm using the YSL Eyeliner Vinyl. I really like this because it's got the most fine ass little tip, and this is like precise. Are you ready? Are you nervous? I'm, I'm not nervous. You can't be nervous. Like, don't manifest that nervousness. I'm not nervous. It's gonna be great. So I have hooded eyes, so I have to look like directly into the mirror. Did I fuck it up? It looks okay. I might have to fix it a little bit. It came out a little straighter than I wanted it. I have my baby bioderma, and these are from the bathroom. I did really good. You know when you do a really good eyeliner, and you try and recreate that eyeliner, and you just can't get the magic back? That's what happened to me last night. I had such a good liner for dinner, and I feel like I'm trying to recreate it. You know what? It's close enough. My makeup looks really dark on camera, and it's not that dark in person. sucks right now. What the fuck? Uh, okay, this one's not bad. This one's weird. I think we salvaged it, but I think like one's skinnier than the other. Do we make them thicker or do we try and make them thinner? It's time to dust my face off. We have baked enough. too much because I have my eyebrows microbladed from almost three years ago but I just want to make them a little thicker and a little longer and that's it for the brows <laughs> um, actually that's not true oh so this by the way is it cosmetics brow power and then I'm gonna be using the brow gal Tanya Crooks instant brow hair this is like a microfiber. It's very slight. And then I'm going to be setting with Lancome's Fix It and Forget It. It's such a fine spray. All right, I can't believe there was ever a time I didn't use setting spray. And then for my eyelashes, I'm keeping it super simple. I was debating like buying lashes, but honestly, I'm not that girl. And I don't really want to start tonight. So I'm just going to crimp them. And then I'm using the Clarins Super Volume on these bad boys. I like to dab a little bit just on the tips and then I come up from the bottom and wiggle them through. So weird. I was reading like a J14 magazine when I was 14 or something. And I remember there was like an interview with it was like Jamie Lynn Spears' as makeup artist. And he was talking about how he does her lashes and he's like, I start from the base and I wiggle it through to the tip and like that's how I get really defined lashes for Jamie Lynn. And don't ask me why my brain chose to hold onto that piece of information all these years. And now that's how I do my lashes. <laughs> I'm gonna finish off the look with this Urban Decay eye pencil. It's just in a brown shade and I like to dust underneath my eyes. Give that like shadow, that shadow look. Cause otherwise your eye tends to be so top heavy and I don't want to forget about the bottom. Cause like it's special too. Cause I just feel like you got your whole eye to work with. Like use up your real estate. And I kind of like that smudgy look. Okay, for lips, I'm doing the Kylie Cosmetics One Wish Matte Lip. <gasps> no, worst nightmare. Ooh, we're making it work. We did a little lip liner and then just a matte lip. I love matte. I love matte liquid lipsticks because they don't transfer. They're kiss proof. And I don't have to worry about them smearing all over my face. <laughs> Okay, that is it for the makeup. I'm moving on to my hair now. I'm gonna be doing like just my middle part with some loose beachy, actually, you know what? Not beachy waves. I'm gonna be doing my middle part with some loose waves. So if you wanna stick around for that, then keep on watching. So the curling iron that I'm using today is Bombay's Curling Iron, one of these. And I'm just gonna start from the back and I have extensions in. And normally I like to curl my hair together if I can, but I'm just gonna curl the top part separately. And I'm gonna start, I'm gonna go really close to the root because I want a lot of volume. I don't want it to be like totally falling out, but I'm also not gonna hold the curl for very long. So just a couple seconds 
and then let it fall. And another thing that I didn't bring with me is crocodile clips. I don't know what you guys call them. They're like the, the clamps. Shoot, so I don't really have anything to like hold my hair down. I'm just gonna have to like balance it right there. Oh no. <laughs> All right, it's just, it's fine. It's fine, we're fine. So I'm gonna give these a little quick run through. This is one of my favorite hairstyles. Like as soon as I figured out how to master it, it became one of my favorite hairstyles to do because it does not take any time at all. And it ends up looking so pretty. And like, who doesn't love a hairstyle that takes literally no time and looks really pretty? Cause I used to take forever with my curls cause I like could not figure them out. Like they would turn out, like I didn't know how to control <laughs> my hair and make it do the things that I wanted it to do. So I had to watch a lot of YouTube tutorials and like practice on myself a lot to uh, get my hair the way I style it now. Like a hairstyle like this probably would have taken me like two hours or something crazy. So yeah, I literally did this side. I'm looking at my timer right now, just under six minutes since I started the video. And I don't remember what I did in the beginning of the video. So, under six minutes on this one side right here. And then I'm just gonna let that chill and start on the other side before I brush it out. Oh, fuck. Like, I never know what to do with my bangs because they're like so short. Let's do this again. So while my hair is setting from the curling, I like to let it cool down before I brush it out. I'm gonna go get changed into my outfit and I'll be right back. Makeup is set, hair has been brushed out and I've got my outfit on. I'm about to show you guys. It's really simple, but it makes me feel really confident. So that's the vibe that I'm going for tonight. Um, so I'm just gonna show you what I'm wearing, similar to how I showed you my other outfit because there's nowhere else for me to put this camera. So we'll make it work. Okay, oh my God. This is so bad. Where else can I put you where you can see everything? Oh, you know what? I'm going to put you on top of this mirror and pray that you don't fall. I don't even know if that works. <laughs> that doesn't work. You know what? Here, I'm going to put you maybe here and I'll just back up. Okay, there we go. So this is the look. So this is the look tonight and I have on my little wanted necklace from Azaro that I've worked into my outfit tonight and I'm just waiting for the driver to get here. We're meeting in the lobby in like 20 minutes and I'm so happy that I'm actually like ahead of the curve for once. I'm always running late but my like 2019 goal was to be better with my time management. So here we are, 20 minutes early. This is what I'm wearing to a rooftop fragrance launch in LA and I hope you guys like this video. I'm also going to be uploading a vlog of my whole entire trip so if you want to see that go on over to my channel and it will be there and that covers pretty much yesterday, today, and then tomorrow as well including footage of the actual event. So that's it for this video. If you've made it to the end thank you so much for staying with me and I will catch you in the next video.